warm welcome to TechMag TV News Bulletin. I'm Ellen O'Chad and in stories making the headlines. President Emerson Mlangagwa hits on term extension. APRO offers an OPF invitation to observe South African elections. Deputy Minister of Finance calls for repealing of statutory instrument 118. United Nations seeks 430 million US dollars for drought in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe wins final T20 international against Bangladesh. And now in stories in greater details. President Emerson Mnangagwa has sparked fears of a constitutional amendment to cling on to power. There have been calls for President Mnangagwa to run for office beyond the two-term limits allowed by the Constitution. Forward South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has dismissed the concerns of opposition parties who criticized his party, the African National Congress' decision to invite ZANU-PF to observe the 29 May elections. South African's opposition parties pointed out ZANU-PF records of conducting elections marred by allegations of vote rigging and other electoral malpractices. President Ramaphosa said ZANU-PF will not interfere in the country's electoral process but will merely observe from the sidelines. Democratic Alliance MP Soli Malazzi said this was a desperate move by the ANC to cling to power by all means necessary and ZANU-PF's presence would compromise the electoral code of conduct. And moving on to business news, the Deputy Minister of Finance, Investment Promotion and Economic Development, David Munangagwa, has called for a repeal of the Statutory Instrument 118. Statutory Instrument 118 allowed businesses to charge a 10% margin on the exchange rate. Deputy Minister Munangagwa added that the repeal was necessary as the country had switched to a new currency backed by gold. And the United Nations and its partners launched a flash appeal yesterday, seeking 429 million US dollars to support 3.1 million people. This appeal comes following an El Nino induced drought that has affected the country since December 2023. This appeal will complement the government's response to the national drought disaster. An estimated 6 million people are expected to be food insecure during the lean season. Zimbabwe has brought an end to the losing streak by beating Bangladesh in the fifth and final T20 International by eight wickets. This was Zimbabwe's first win of the series that finished 4-1 in favor of the host. After being put in a bait, Bangladesh made 157 for 6, but Brian Bennett's 70 off 49 balls with five fours and many sixes set the platforms for Zimbabwe's victory with nine balls to spare. And that was all we had on this news bulletin. For more of these stories, do follow us on techmag.tv. Thank you for watching.